My name is Jared Minnick, uh, 36 years old, out of Lansing, Michigan. Samantha, when she was about six, six and a half, she started playing on a local recreational team. She had natural ability from the get-go. Um, she seen the ball, she knew how to attack it up front. Just natural talent out of her. When she started playing, I wasn't really into it. Her mom participated and I, uh, I kind of focused on work and, and never really picked it up. In 2016, November 19th, I was at work in a company van and following traffic laws when a drunk driver hit me at 70 while I was at a red light. I was pretty disoriented. Um, turned out I have quite a few spinal injuries. Right now we're still treating the cervical spine and I've actually had a stimulator installed on my spinal cord and the lumbar. So I have 36 of those leads installed on my spinal cord. Samantha had a hard time coming around. She knew I had injuries, but she didn't fully understand what that entailed. TBI, for people that don't know, is traumatic brain injury. Um, to give you an idea of where I was versus where I ended up, I started building computers when I was 12. After the accident, I could not remember how to log on to a computer. Um, and that's kind of sad. From that, you have other issues that come along, memory deficits, you have anxiety issues, especially when driving at the time or shortly after. And depression was a big one because here's a life event that affected me and I felt like nobody really understood what I was going through. I went to one of her practices and just sat there and watched, and I was taken back by what she was doing and all the other kids. So I kept returning to Samantha's practices, and after the second one, her head coach seen my interest, and he gradually involved me in the coaching process. I had no knowledge of soccer at the time. So after two seasons, he jumped me into coaching, helped me get my first U.S. soccer license. Once I left Waverly, I went to Lansing Soccer Club where I still coach. I've been a head coach for the first co-ed team in that club for four seasons now. Players call me for help with homework. Parents call me, hey, can you pick my child up from school? I've been doing stuff I shouldn't be doing. And to me, that's, that's what I'm here for. For the kids specifically, it gives me a sense of um, fulfillment or need because I'm a positive role model, a male figure that they might not have at home or somebody that they can count on no matter the circumstances. I've had a child call me after school at six o'clock because mom forgot to pick them up. And so you pick them up and you try to cheer them up as best as you can. And just the, the smile on their face because you show up makes a difference. It's one thing to go on a field and ask a kid to run four laps around the soccer field knowing that I can't do it. Because you're always gonna have kids that are like, hey coach, how come you never run with us? We had two, maybe three games played out of an eight game season or a session. Um, COVID came around and it just knocked everything out of this country. Not only indoor, but outdoor. We're still, still suffering outdoor. We lost our spring season. And that's a challenge because some of our teams are going to the high school level and what's supposed to be their senior season was taken from them. While treating my traumatic brain injury at a facility locally, I learned a high percentage of people with a TBI tend to go towards suicide because nobody relates to them. Soccer for me, I had started going that direction with my feelings and emotions. Soccer pulled me away. Um, it lifted my spirits. It gave me something to focus on besides my own misery. And while working with the kids, that misery turned to positives. I could see I'm helping little Michaela with her homework or I'm picking up Manuel for games or it just started turning into positives. 
you know, that sense of feeling needed again. And what I'm looking most forward to is seeing the kids again. So if there was a single message from my experience, it is that life is short, valuable, and no matter what depression, anxiety, or anger you feel, you are not alone. Um, soccer for me helped me get past all of that, and there's no reason it can't help you. You're not alone.